Oh, now you want to go. <laughs> Indigo, you're so bad. Valkyrie? I've been watching some YouTube videos lately and really enjoying kind of watching people do their chores and seeing their animals and things like that. I really enjoy seeing the kind of things people, other people do when they're doing their farm chores. It's, it's just, it gives me ideas and it's also kind of, I think, fun for people who don't get to do that kind of thing to be able to see what it takes and to know how much work it really is because it's a lot of work. So it's evening and evening chores are a little easier than morning chores. Not a lot easier, but a little easier. So the first thing I do is feed the, the baby goats. They have their feed here and we'll take it out to them. So the baby goats get a combination of a little bit of green with mostly alfalfa pellets and black oil sunflower seeds. So I don't give them a, just a whole lot of grain, but I do give them some because they're still on the younger side. But I do watch really closely to make sure that, that they're not having any urinary calcium issues or anything like that because they're boys. Hi boys! Hi boys! Hello! Okay. Ready? Come here. Come down, Get down. Get down. Get down. Now I'll go get them some hay. You guys are just big pigs, aren't you? So we just have regular orchard grass with just a little bit of alfalfa that I've mixed in here. And I just put this in their hay feeder and they will put it on the floor. <laughs> because that's what little goats do. Their, their stall is really needing a good clean out. We had some old alfalfa that, that the last batch, it, it wasn't old. It was just, it just wasn't as nice as some of the others we've had, and they didn't like it as well. And so all the goats just, they just put it on the floor. Now we have nicer stuff, and hopefully they'll eat this a lot better. All right, guys. They're so chubby. When when goats eat, they their bellies get really round, so you can tell that lightning is a tub. He likes to eat. So now we have our next chore, which is to wait, <laughs> which is to get things ready for the the ladies. So the girl goats they need their food next. Just a little bit more involved because I'm milking indigo still, and so I have to get everything ready and get it all set up and have everything staged so that I can do a, a big swaparoo and get indigo on the stand and while she's eating her first couple nibbles I run out there and put Rogan Valkyrie's food out and you know in the middle of all that there's turkey being fed and it's a little bit of a organized chaos so hopefully I can do it and still kind of make a little bit of sense. If if I'm not talking though, Brian will just put music over the top of me. That'll be fine. So I'm doing chores at around seven o'clock right now. And obviously when it gets, the times change and the nights get a little closer in, then I'll probably have to readjust some things. And how I do that is just by slowly moving things towards the direction that I want them to be. And usually that works pretty good. So here's the 
here's where we're keeping our hay right now. So for the girls, I'm doing a kind of strange combination. I take just a little orchard grass and I'll save that and I'll put that on top, which, which will make a little bit more sense when I get in with Rose and <laughs> And then in my pink purple bucket, I put, that's my alfalfa hay, and I put a good large amount of alfalfa hay. Most of what they're getting is alfalfa right now. And so I've got that mostly filled up. And what I've been experimenting with lately that I think is going pretty well is I've been using a little bit of chaff hay as well. And the only thing I will say about it is that you do have to kind of look at it and make sure that it has a gone moldy. I've had a few little patches in it that had been moldy and so obviously I'm not feeding that to the goats. But the rest of it was fine. So, and I'm just doing about a pound for Rogan Valkyrie and about two for Indigo. And I actually give Indigo a good handful on the stand because the first part is Sarah. <laughs> She gobbles her food, and so to get her to slow down, I've been using this cafe. And then I've used this orchard grass to help it, help that cafe kind of stick in the, the feeder bin. So I just put enough in there that I can kind of layer that. So there's the girls. They're waiting with the turkey. Right? <laughs> not cooperating. She's being very bad. But the fence shocked her. So now she's all freaked out. Aren't you? Come on. I need to go. Okay. She just wants to make Don't come. come on. I know. It's terrible. I know. What you doing, Rosie? Come on! You're looking like a chicken. Where are you going? You can't eat the turkey spoon, you weirdo. Come on! Come on! No. I'm gonna give your food to Valkyrie. Indigo. Indigo. You're holding up the food line. Nobody's getting fed after you if you don't hurry up. Come on. What are you thinking of your nose? Valkyrie. causing there to be more chaos. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> I can't get that goat to do what I want right now. So I came inside and I made some chick feed and I'm gonna go feed the, the little chickens. Tonight's actually their last night in the little tiny, it's like a rabbit tractor, but we're using it for chicks right now. It's their last night there and we're actually going to move them later tonight when Brian gets home. He, he ran into work for a couple hours. So he's at work. I'm here. 
so I'm going to feed the chicks and then I'll just move their feed into the mini cooper when we move them. Hi bad goats. Now they're all gonna follow me and holler at me. Like this whole thing is my fault that they're uh, well indigo's being a pill. And Valkyrie's trying to get out. She's a little skate artist. I'm not sure what we're gonna do if she doesn't do as well on regular fencing when we put up the regular fencing later. So <laughs> I'm worried about that. I, I think Brian thinks it's just gonna be as easy, so we'll see. I don't know. So we're here over at the baby chicks now. And every time I'm out here I check their water and I move them because they're healthy. Because the things are gross. That's why I don't take care of the baby. <laughs> um, yeah, they're just that gross. They're happy. They make happy little noises. Stop. You guys almost landed in the poop. <laughs> Come on. No, that's not good. You're on the wrong side. You're on the wrong side. You're on the wrong side. Let's go. Hey. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. give the scraps to the turkey. I'll just check on the bunnies. They might need some water. You guys need some water? Yeah, maybe. I'll get you some water when we're done. Come here, turkey. Oh! Don't do that. Come here. Ready? Are you gonna let me? Are you gonna go? Come on. Get out of the way, Rogue. Come on. 
Isn't that beautiful? No. You guys are making it worse. <laughs> I'm going to lock you up. Come on. Come on, Indigo. Here, I'll stand right here and block that bad fence. Come on. Rogue. Just you guys? Because seriously, Roke has never gotten out. Not once. She's gotten out twice! <laughs> what the heck? This never happens. Usually this is like beautiful orchestrated clockwork. Indigo. What's happened to our beautiful routine? Come on. Come on, baby. Blacked up Hogan Indigo. And now I'm going to try and get. This is turkey search coming out. Now I'm going to eat. Hey! <laughs> That's just not nice. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, big girl. Let's go. Come on. I can bring the girls their food. <laughs> They're all in this. <laughs> like, what is going on? This is not the routine. Yeah. <laughs> Don't knock the tripod over. That's cool. Yeah. As long as the church doesn't get you. Come. Come on. Go. Better get in there. Come on. Are you worried now? Are you worried the turkey's gonna eat your food? Come on. 
all cold. need to do is fill that rabbit water and then I can go inside and be done. <sighs> but I think that's enough chores for you guys for one night. That was exciting. There's nothing exciting about refilling a water bottle and straining milk. So that's it. All right. Have a good night everybody. Bye.